Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back to another live training session with your host, Spoonie Peters, for eFootball 2023. Now, what this is all about is me showing you with the gamepad on, explaining some of the scenarios and what things I'm looking for and looking to try to do. With Dream Team, I had an idea in my head exactly how I wanted to play, how I want to sort of dominate possession of the game. I love the possession style. It really does suit me. I'm not a player who can just, you know, play quick counter and get the ball forward as quickly as possible. That's just not me. It's not my style. Some players are good with that. It's it's just something I really, really struggle to do. So I like to keep possession of the ball. I like to dominate. And for those players that play quick counter, when you do come up against those, I like to hold the ball for long periods and make them suffer and make them pay for giving me the ball back so cheaply. So because I've got the 361, the, the six across the midfield allows me to dominate possession. But let me just explain some of the things we've got. Because we're a possession-based style, it does mean I have to have a fairly quick back line. More or less... 70 ish for speed across the back line that's more than adequate i think van dyke is the slowest in terms of acceleration but koulibaly and alaba are absolutely fine in terms of that regard alaba is probably my best ball playing defender so if i am playing out from defense i will generally give it to him if i'm looking for a longer pass to neymar or sancho in their wide areas for the midfield quartet this is really important so they're all they've all got high ball control high tight possession and that's really important to me uh why because the ball control is how well they control the ball first time. So you can see here 92 for Foden, 96, 94 and 95. So very high ball control. This is how well they receive the ball. And then tight possession is how well they can manipulate that ball once they've got it in, in under control. So with it being 90 plus for all of those players, it means they can operate in very, very tight spaces. And you're going to find very similar stats on either wing as well. Very high ball control and tight possession stats. The other important stat is these all have one touch passing. Every single one of these players. That means they're comfortable receiving the ball, but if there's a pl opponent closing in, I can lay it off with the high balls, uh, with the one, part, one touch passing and the high passing stats. I have no doubt that these guys can play amongst themselves under pressure. And even Neymar Jr. has pretty decent low pass stats, 80, but he's also got the one touch passed as well and that is the same for sancho this is why i opted for sancho because he's got the one touch pass as well so that's one of the prime reasons i opted for sancho on the right hand side but obviously neymar and sancho have also got trickery and obviously sometimes you can go through the middle nine times out of ten just one twos and cutting teams to shreds but having that little bit tricky on the wings or trickery on the wings just keeps your opponent guessing and gives you another avenue for scoring up top i very very luckily Got Mbappe, who's ridiculously quick and plays on the shoulder of the defense. But with the possession style, he will still come short. And I love that because he's going to come short. He's going to pick up the ball. He's going to play it to Foden. He's going to play it to Modric. And then he's going to spin in behind because I've told him to. So that's a really nice feature about Mbappe and the possession-based style. And that's why I like it because it allows me to control when my players move forward rather than it being dictated by the AI. So that's why I play possession. This is my team. This is why I built it the way I did. Before I had Mbappe, I had Mertens, who was there again with high type possession, high ball control stats. And he was there basically to link the play, bring Foden and Modric into the game. But he wasn't all that prolific. But Mbappe definitely offers me that goal scoring threat, as you've seen in my Road to Glory series, if you've been watching that. So that's my lineup. And now let's get straight into the game. Okay, so we've come up against a relatively average squad. It's not the best, but he's playing a 4-3-3, which is nice to see. Verratti's off form, so I'm going to have to bring perhaps Kovacic in. I think I'll leave it for the time being because I like the fact that he's got um, the orchestrator role. So my opponent's playing a 4-3-3, very, very common formation. And the 3-6-1 does tend to do very well against it. So what we're going to do here is just try and stifle him make him pay for any sort of directness good effort there from Benzema from across from Bale any crosses like that into the box just press shoot to clear looks like he's trying to press high here which is fine And try and get out to my wide air. I had to use a little bit of super council there just to drag him through. I 
sometimes little turns can throw your opponent off. That directness, got to try and make him pay for that. Make him not want to go too direct all the time. I'm do my best job there, but again, it's gone direct. Using the matchup button. And then eventually forcing Knight for a goal kick. Notice how I tapped the matchup button there. Didn't mash it or hold it down. Just tapped it gently. A little bit of trickery there. Oh, just try to push the right sit down just to try and lift the ball over because I could see him approaching. So I look for the one two. Yep. So what I do my with my with my opponents, I, I put myself in their head all the time. Every time they got the ball, I look up and see think, who would I pass to if I was in their shoes? And that's how come I knew he was gonna play the through ball. He's a pretty smart player, but he's not tracking the runs all that well. And Mbappe's here, and he should be doing better. That should be one now. Should be He got in between the players and but he's not play, he's not tracking runs in the wide area too well. It's all about learning your the p patterns of your opponent as well. Like he's he's very keen to get the ball forward very quickly. Here's what I was talking about. Mbappe, one two, shoots. Can he finish? Not yet. Not yet, but um that's what I was talking about about Mbappe, laying the ball back. Because it's a possession-based style, he's going to drop off. He's going to pick up the ball. He's going to try and cut in here because obviously it's Bale, left-footed. Very, very strong shooter. I was able to deal with that relatively easily. Little one-twos. <laughs> Somehow he's still got it, but there we go. Cut back. Oh, should do better. He was on his weaker foot, unfortunately. Got a bit of there. Starting just to turn the screw now. He's, he's trying to break out, but he's... Uh, He's going forward far too quickly, and there we go. He was getting squeezed, dropping further and further back, having less players up front to get the ball to. And once you do push them back, and they do try to you know, get the ball quickly forward, it becomes even easier and easier to intercept. That's what I was talking about, the lob pass button. So important to use that in this game. Mbappe, oh, wow. Didn't want to pick up the ball for some reason. See, he's, he's rushing his play. Mbappe was through there, but couldn't quite feed it through that the gap that I was looking for. Mbappe, I've set him on a run. That's got to be a free kick, surely. No. <laughs> Good use of the matchup button there from Koulibaly just to hold the player. Mbappe's through, but so is Neymar. Mbappe, want it? Yeah, of course he does. And always make a, make use of available and make use of your available options going forward. There, I could have probably took the shot with Neymar. Everyone's probably anticipating it. He's probably anticipating that. Could have played the ball through to Mbappe there, but I want to let this guy know that I'm trouble. He's he's sort of lost his head now because of that. <laughs> and there we go. He's probably going to quit after that. To be honest, he realizes that. Yeah, that he's, he's not going to be able to get anywhere near me. But he didn't have the team to do it. He didn't have the team. 
to compete really there's lesson one online we'll have to do another one otherwise it's going to be a really short short series okay Ferrati's off form unfortunately again for myself but uh let's get looking at my opponent's side it's pretty decent Lewandowski Messi Sun Hyun Min Skulls Neymar Casemiro it's a very very strong side so this should be a good one but again it's at 4-3-3 should be able to win this so he's got Allegri as a manager so possibly he's going to be a quick counter start Get ready. Just using the matchup here just to block these balls through to the where he wants to get them. Okay, now let's take over. Doing is just probing right now on the edge of his box, just keep him guessing. If I get this, he's in trouble. Again, apply enough pressure and win the ball back much easier this time. Casemiro does a great job to intercept that one. Whoa, that did not mean to go there. I'm not sure what happened there. I have to go back and watch that, but I didn't think my left stick was pointing that way. Now, you probably noticed I picked up the goalkeeper and moved him to the left. Because I think, you know, if that's myself, that's where I'm shooting as well. I'm shooting to the near post. And thankfully, he saved it. Because that ball should never have happened from Modric. I had him as well. Had him in a really good position. Yeah, I'm lagging a bit. I think that's what the problem here. Just notice when I turned there, my, my player was going the wrong way, so. There's a little bit of input delay. Oh, I'll just try to cut that back. So I'm trying to play diagonal ball. Get ready, get ready. There it is. <laughs> He's got three players to pass to now, but. Should have made me played the ball. I was probably just worried that I was in position to intercept, which I was, and I had the matchup button held down. Good effort, but you should have uh, killed it a little bit further. Inwards and what you know, when I select the goalkeeper, what that can do is it can get in players' heads. I'm going to do it again. Okay, so he's, he's one, one blue right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a bit more attacking strategy. It's kind of the meta thing to do right now, this whole one, one blue thing, but. Should start to play into my hands. Now I've switched to an attacking strategy. Hopefully, anyway. It's basically leaving a three against three at the back, but I'm confident in my defenders unless my midfielders just run into each other like that. Ball down line. And Pape, he's through. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, he's just gone a little bit too soon. 
going to try and play it out here, I think. Good Super Council usage. Just to bring my defender up that. How did he even get that? Oh, no. What a save. <laughs> I just let the goalkeeper drag them across because, uh, yeah. Got done by the uh, mechanics of the game. I think he's off. I think he's off. That was a professional foul, as you might like to call it. Just to stop that counter. It's already passed the ball. Yeah, his pass button was way, way too soon there. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite get it through to Mbappe. And half time. Again, just using the matchup button just to get across and make the tackle. It's kind of risky in the penalty area. He's having the shots. So I got the possession. I just can't quite get into his box right now. He's got the one blue up. Meaning his defence is sitting deep. But I wait for my opportunities and they will come. He's one bar red attacking now, right now, so that's good. Good for me. Because he's going to come out with a little shell. <laughs> Which is going to give me even better opportunities, hopefully. He's going for two options here. Going for a ball to the back post and comfortably saved. Mbappe's round the back. And Mbappe makes him pay. Quick player selection. We both got held up there. A little bit unfortunate for him, to be honest. Wasn't tracking the runner Neymar there, he got lucky. Lovely play from Verratti. Even off form, he's he's still ridiculously good. Modric is here now. Got a player wide. Got Mbappe in the middle. Bit of super cancel. And it falls to Modric. I told you. Even though I wasn't getting the chance in the first half, I felt it was coming. And there we go. He's conceded the match. Just looking at the substitutes bench. We're looking good. Opponents in... Oh, look at this. Mbappe, Haaland, Messi, Neymar, Pedri, Marquinhos, Militiao. Militiao's a little bit dodgy. I think he's destroyed defender, so he can go walkabouts. But he's got Van Dijk, Hakimi and Theo Hernandez back there. And Courtois and goal. One of the strongest 
lineups on face so far, so all good though. I'm looking forward to this. A different formation again, 4-4-2. Can be a little bit tricky, but Haaland, he might as well be playing with nine men. Okay, so here we go. Up against Inter Milan. Oh. And there we go. Use the super cancel because he tried to control it with Van Dijk. Absolutely fatal. To be honest, I thought he was going to deal with that. But he didn't. And he's just tucked it away at the near post. Got a feeling he might be pretty mad about that. I'm going to give him a chance to dwell on it. There's only two midfield. This should be interesting. Try to get his Neymar away. Whereas I'm going to get my Sancho in behind here. Not quite. That's the ball that. Oh, he was almost spinning behind. I think he's given up. I think he's given up. Of course he has. And sometimes players can just sense that you're probably maybe a little bit more of a skill gap there. I don't know what it is, but he melted pretty quickly. Okay, so this is the lineup we're facing this time. 4-3-3. Kind of funny, this lineup. But uh, yeah, he's got Mbappe, Jesus, and Saka. So plenty of speed through the front line. Speed, you know, Allegri. Typical quick counter manager that we're coming up against. Okay, up against Arsenal. That's what I love about his formation against a 4 3 3. It just. You've got so many options. So many players to pass to. Good save from Courtois early on. Let him feel that pressure. And this is what he's going to be all about. Getting the ball quickly forward. Or as forward quickly as possible. Look at that. Direct as anything. Don't mind him flinging the balls into the box like that, to be honest. Use of the matchup button. Prevent any low crosses. He's not got any juggernauts to really pass the ball into. Again, use of the, the matchup button. This is where the uh, the one touch passing comes into into play. Remember I said about one touch passing with those midfield quartet. You notice there with Van Dijk, I moved across, and there was a reason I went to the left hand side because if he laid it off, I was in position in possession for or in position to take the ball off him as well. So now I'm going to make him suffer a little bit. Good block, good save. Comfortable save for that goalkeeper, by the way. It's a nice ball. Out wide. Mbappe back through to Neymar. Neymar! Oh, good save from Courtois. Close off the uh, angle there. Modric 
Just using a bit of super cancel. Draw that defender right. Oh. Starting to figure out his bit of play now, so. Oh, that's a poor pass. He's going to cut back inside. See, I'm starting to read him. And that's going to become a little bit frustrating. A little bit demoralizing. Clears that one, but able to use Super Council there. Bring my defender right. Mbappe's away. Oh, good effort. Good save, Courtois. Starting to take over the game now. This is a much better game. Simply for the fact that he's, uh, <laughs> he knows how to super count, so that's nice to see anyway. Oh, now I got caught that. It's one thing you shouldn't do. Good defending there, they just drop back, wait for the space to seize up. Again, position the goalkeeper. Oh, but he squeezed it in. The near post was Saka. Switching play to the side. Dealt with by Modric, just about. And there it is. The Super Council was absolutely stunning to get ahead of the ball. That enabled. The pass back, that was sublime. You go watch that back. Watch the use of the Super Council to get ahead of the ball. Quick reminder today, please have your entry tickets at hand as it's time to announce today's winning lottery numbers. That's a penalty. <laughs> when in this game is that going to be a penalty? Wow. And he goes up the other end and scores. That's crazy. There it is. The layoff from Mbappe. Back into that midfield quartet. Any one of those players will find him again. He stepped out. Now we got to melt this player for sure. Super Council from Mbappe to get across, but he couldn't. He took so long with that second touch.
Oh, now we get a free kick. Now we get a free kick. This is a much better game, though. I'm just aggrieved by that, that penalty decision. Just starting to feel the heat there. The pressure's building. The attendance for this match was 96,628. Where is my midfielder? Should have came across and dealt with that. You can see how versatile that that quartet is in that. How comfortable they are picking up the ball. Got a man over here. That is not the ball I wanted. Mbappe! Foden! <laughs> On his left foot as well. Substitutions taking place. It's Mbappe. And Jorginho. Modric. Oh, Koeman just can't quite get through. Good interception, Kula Bali. Koeman. Mbappe. Got a man over. One more pass. That's it. Yes! We've got it. Knew that was going to happen. Uh, drive it. Drive it. Is it defense that. To make that happen. Here's Foden looking wide. He's got Kim. I'm going to cut right across him. Look at that. Little double touch. Shoots. Oh, good save from Courtois. Using the Super Council to cut 
across him here. Took that defender out of the game. Gonna make a couple of substitutions here. Again, the same elk of players coming into the side to freshen it up. Playing serious here, I'd probably do some game management and just pass the ball around. Especially if it's a tough game or something like this. But I want more goals. I want that goal that I should have had. <laughs> the penalty. Got man over here. And there it is. Just to wrap it up. Always looking for that man over. So important. There will be three minutes at a time. <laughs> of course, there's no foul. Of course, there's no foul. Taking for a little bit of a run. And there we are. Getting the result in the end. I have to hard, work hard for that one. But anyway, let me know what you think of the series, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy it with the gamepad on. Perhaps explaining some of the things I do and why I do them. Anyway, thank you once again for joining me. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.